Hello, this is Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hopper Realtors. On this episode of Realtor Rides, we were at the master plan community of Cibolo Canyons. The model home tours I've done so far have been big hits, so that tells me I need to advertise this area a little more. So, uh, let's go for a ride. A Realtor Ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off this tour on Evans Road and TPC Parkway. That is the intersection we have. They are doing some construction on Evans Road, widening it. This uh, beautiful subdivision of Cibolo Canyons goes all the way through to uh, um, Boverde Road. So from Evans, you take TPC Parkway and immediately you're in Cibolo Canyons. They do have some high-end, well, pretty decent looking apartments right at the very beginning. Let's see if I can get around this guy here. All right. It is a beautiful day in Texas. It is, I believe, July 11th. So, yes, it is getting hot out here. We have a... We're breaking, actually breaking records this uh, July for hottest temperature. We're getting up to around 105, and that's pretty damn hot. Normally, we are around 95 degrees this time. 90 to 95 degrees this time of year. All right, we can already see some walking trails, the beautiful oak trees, all sorts of little signs saying world-class golf resort because it is. You have the TPC Resort and the Marriott Resort, and they do have PGA golf tournaments out here. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a big deal in the San Antonio area when they have host the... Ooh, let's go start on first community there. There's the JW Marriott right in front of us. Our <clears throat> this area has seven different small subdivisions in it. This one is the Capanias. Very nice. I have done a video tour of the Sitterly model home. Let's go by and take a look at that one. Now these homes are going to be on the higher end. Usually starting around 550 and going up to however much you want them. But a lot of custom builds going on in it. And uh, in this little mini subdivision of Campania's, their claim to fame is the uh, groundskeeping, front, back, garden beds, everything is taken care of for you. So if you're an empty nester and you're out traveling and stuff, you don't have to worry about your lawns and your flowers all being taken care of. That does come at a fee, I believe, do not quote me, their HOA fees are about a $400 a month. But uh, if that's what you're looking for, you can find it here. I'm going to do my best not to go too deep into all these subdivisions because I want to value your time. And I tend to ramble sometimes. But I do want to show off some of the houses they have back here. The Companions does have their own clubhouse with a swimming pool. I believe that is the clubhouse right there. Yep, there's some tennis courts. There's a swimming pool back there somewhere too. Oh boy, which way did I come in at? Yes, realtors get lost too. I don't think I came this way. Okay, well, I know where I'm at now. All right, the 
There are a couple builders that build in here. Siderly is the one in the area we just left. Monticello and David Weekly, they are starting to build in this communities over here. You do have the same advantages. However, the starting price bracket for these houses are now starting around 350 to 450. So you're gonna have less expensive homes. There's the David Weekly. And uh, yes. Oh, yep, more David Weekly homes. If I can find, turn around here. So you can see there's lots more construction going on. I do like both David Weekly and Siderly Builders. So yeah, if you're looking to move out to Cibolo Canyons, there's homes for all different price brackets. No, you're not going to find the $200,000 homes out here. They are all going to be the lowest builder I think I've seen out here is right around 330. There's the world famous JW Marriott back there in the distance. Matter of fact, let's go see if we can do a drive by of it. Back up the TPC Parkway here. Now another thing about uh, this subdivision is once you're in it, you have access to multiple amenity centers. Amorosa has a beautiful amenity center back there with lots of with a big pool, lots of features, and no matter what little small subdivision you live in, you still can go to the other ones. The uh, big one with the Lazy River is going to be at the very end of this tour, so that's incentive for you to keep watching. All right, good views of the JW Marriott. They have a wonderful high-end bar, nice restaurant in there. Of course, your PGA golf courses, tennis course. Marriott has its own Lazy River. Oh, I've eaten uh, dinner there one night. It was just really, really nice. There are people actually in San Antonio who do their, we're not gonna go all the way up to see the Marriott, the front of the Marriott. But they do come out here just to spend uh, a couple of days away from home and enjoy the benefits of the JW Marriott because it's that nice. Even my uh, San Antonio Board of Realtors and Coal Banker, they sometimes will host big conventions in there too. Great for conventions. My daughter still wanted me to go do the JW Marriott stay just so she can play in the Lazy River. There's a good look at it. All right, the next mini subdivision we're going to go up to is Madero. I really like the Madero one. It's a sweet spot as far as prices. You're going to have Chesmar, Highland Homes, and Imagine Homes in there. I've done video tours of all their models. And uh, I believe the Chesmar model is starting around 350 to 450 is their price range. Well, they have something that goes up in the mid fives. Um, Imagine Homes starting right around four. And they go up, and Highland, I believe, starts right around the fours as well. And before I go too much further, if you do like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe and share them with other people. And a big shout out to saying thank you to those people who have been watching my videos and making comments on it. Uh, my business has really taken off. I have not had a day off in probably a month and that's okay, Madero. Speaking of comments, I did have a comment before about if you bought one of these houses and you're 100% military disabled, when does that kick in? Well, as you can see right now, this house is under construction. So the builders, there's Imagine Home and Highland Homes, 
the builders are only paying property tax on just the dirt. Now, if you bought it before the end of the year, that's what you're gonna be paying for. The remainder of that year, you'll be paying property tax on just dirt. Your 100% disabled vet status does not apply to just dirt. So the answer to the question is, once the new year comes around and the taxes roll over and the house is listed as a completed structure that you're paying taxes on that, then your 100% disability kicks in and you pay no property taxes at all. Look at these views. So hopefully that answered the questions to one comment. I believe it was Mark who made that comment. All right, the golf courses are just over that ridge, over that tree line. There's like a little cliff that drops down into where you can overlook the golf course. Pretty cool. some big beautiful homes out here and if you had this lot here that's a pretty good view of the background there you'll be looking at rooftops but there's nobody looking in the backyard Yeah, the, I talked to the sales reps in here quite a bit. They have been busy, ladies and gentlemen, with these interest rates so low and so many people moving to Texas, this place has been popping. When uh, this is, like I said, middle of J July, we have had an uptick in coronavirus cases, but everybody here is trying to do their best to do social distancing, wearing their masks, staying. My whole thing is I try to stay away from people. So doing stuff like this uh, does me a pretty good job of keeping away from folks. But when it first started off, yeah, everything slowed down a little bit, but then people got used to being safe and then the interest rates dropped to historically record lows. Oh man, the Texas housing market just exploded. These guys are busy and they are selling. There's the Chesmar home. I didn't give them a shout out when I drove by. As you can see, these are all gated communities. There will be another community going in right up there. Those, those empty wood areas, they are gonna continue building back that way. And speaking of continue building, they are going to be building a nice amenity center. Oh, there, there she goes. Right in this area here, there's gonna be a big amenity center planned for here. Helps if I'm in the right gear. There we go. All right, in the Monte Verde, we have Castle Rock Homes and Empire Homes. They are beautiful areas, but these are gonna be a little bit smaller lots. Not too bad. And uh, they're gonna be a little more budget friendly. These are the, like starting around the 330, 340 mark. All right, this half of Monteverde has already been developed, so let's go do a drive-through and see what a completed community is going to look like. That looks like a Highland home right there. How can I tell? It's because Highland does thick builds, and they like to put those, both Highland and Perry like to put those really steep pitches on there. So trying to hang, get up on that roof? No, thank you. <laughs> Yep, there you go, Highland home for sale.
Oh no, please open up gate. Sometimes on a motorcycle, they it's not big enough and it doesn't recognize me. And that appears to be the case again this time. Watch it just as I get turned around here, it's gonna open. All right, there's a fix for every problem and our fix is we're gonna go out the entrance gate. Whoa, that was a little slippery. Duck dodge and weave over here to get it back on the right side. All right, like I said, there are trails and stuff that go all through this area. There's some even trails kind of down through here. So it gives you a little shade to go walking and hiking. And if it wasn't so damn hot right now, there would be a lot more people out walking in this area. But I want to take care of you guys and show off uh, this community. So I'm out here doing video. That's another completed community. I want to hit one more community down here, the Australia. There's the Marriott. And yes, I know I pronounced it wrong the first time I uh, did a tour of it, so thank you for pointing out to me. Uh, I'm working on it. I am a uh, that common joke of uh, what do you call someone who only speaks one language? An American. So I am still working on trying to pick up some of my uh, Spanish because I'm absolutely horrible about it. I need to get better. So yeah, sometimes I say things wrong. Uh, and it wasn't a dig for everybody who needs to say American. I'm saying if I've traveled all over the world and it's almost embarrassing how many languages the rest of the world speaks and uh, us in the States speak mostly one and I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to step up our game, folks. Because yes, I am retired Air Force. I've been everywhere. All right, they are going to be building stuff, stuff a little shop. further down there. All that's still in the plans. The high school that this goes to is Johnson High School, which is one of the top rated high schools in the area. Um, I do not know the middle school, but I know the elementary school's Primrose, which is also another really highly rated elementary school. Do not trust me to look those facts up for yourself before buying a community, check out your school districts. All right, there's the Australia community I wanted to look at. This is all Chessmar, but this is gonna be one of the higher end Chessmars. These builds start around 550 and go all the way up to around 750. But Chessmar like, is one of my favorite builders. I have done a video tour of this model, so uh, make sure you click on the link and look at that. It is really beautiful. But you're gonna have definitely some wider lots here to give yourself a little more elbow room. And it's a beautiful house, I like the colors. I've got a client coming into town on Tuesday. No, next week. I got a client coming into town that might be interested in one of these lots, I hope. Because uh, all I do is provide information. I let my clients make the decisions. But that's why I'm doing this so you folks from out of state can uh, get enough information so you're not spending all of your time driving over the area that you're not familiar with. I'm trying to help get you familiarized. That's why I do these real to rides tours along with my model home tours.
But yeah, this sub of this little section selling fast. Once again, the JW Marriott in the distance. Ooh, let's go up here. Sold. Available. Sold. <laughs> Couple of houses slots still available back here, but sold, taken. <laughs> now, the Chessmar does this uh, called a zip program uh, or zip system they put on their houses where it just really helps strengthen the exterior. Uh, it's a real solid, helps waterproof and strengthen it. Uh, I really like it. Scott Felder and I believe Wilshire Homes does it. But not too many builders do it. I like it. Other builders do something a little bit different. Okay, we're back at the model. All right, let's head out and I'll try to give you a little peek. We're heading toward uh, Boverde Road, which is a very major thoroughfare. Well, not very major, but quite major. Uh, you have all your shopping, grocery stores. We have an HEB Plus, which is our dominant grocery store chain in the area. That is going to be all right down here. Um, if you go another mile past Boverde Road, you're hitting 281, which is a very major thoroughfare, getting you all the way into downtown San Antonio or up into the Texas Hill Country. So everything is uh, actually really, really close if you're worried about medical facilities um oh this also close to the stone oak area so many doctor's offices and uh little mini hospitals and stuff are all in the stone oak area i just recently had shoulder surgery done well about a year and a half ago now so i guess not too recently but it was all done right here in the stone oak area so they did a really nice job i'm not going to go into all these subdivisions here because they're completed and this video has been going on long enough so I want to go down here, show you the biggest and fanciest amenity center. So big and fancy, they have a sign saying amenity center. All right, you see you've got a nice little kid splash pad area there. I could stand up on here and get the right gear for it. All right, little mini lazy river. Nice little lap pool. All right, I'm trying to see if there's anything else back here. A little playground. And the HOA fees in the main part of Cibolo Canyons area, to exclude the Companions, because they've got their own thing. Uh, HOA fees are, I believe, $129 a month. Um, let's get another view of all this, if I can. All right, let's head out and I want to show you where Boverde Road is and then we'll wrap this up So I want to show you where it closest. Did I say the HO fees amounts? It should be about $129 a month. If I repeat myself, I apologize. Trying to watch for traffic, ride a motorcycle, and give you guys information is not as easy as you think it is. Almost to the end of the uh, Cibolo Canyons resort living area. You could almost see a little more civilization coming up right in front of us here. Exiting walking trails.
But like I mentioned before, there's just so much easy access to everything in this part of San Antonio. Uh, so if you're living downtown or working downtown, you can just get on 281 and go straight into downtown area to include places like the zoo, the museums, and all that stuff. Or, and the airport's right here too. Or just go north on 281 and then you get into hill country town livings of like Blanco. Um, ooh, we've got a nice little wine road area up there just north of Blanco heading towards Fredericksburg. There's the Primrose School right there. And now we are leaving Cibolo Canyons and you go immediately into the restaurant, shopping area, the good old urban sprawl that you see all over our beautiful country. So yes, you do have uh, some nice restaurants. You can see the traffic here. This Pulverde Road goes on and hits 1604, so you do not have to go all the way down to 281. And uh, well, shoot, if you go right on Boverde Road, it kind of curves all the way around and it gets the 281 that way too. Well, I'm going to wrap it up because you can see this area here, similar spots like out your window, wherever you live in the country. So I want to show off what's unique about Texas. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe again and uh, share it with other folks. And I hope you found this information uh, important. I am signing off. My uh, information is going to be on the final slide. All right, take care now.